we're using secret algorithms to dictate what drivers are based on fact. Okay, so this law professor figured out that tech companies like Uber and Lyft we're using algorithms to determine how much you make, <laughs> okay? They know how much you make before you step out, before you even step out the door, which is why, you know, this Uber, I understand, you know, quick money, fast money, good, but this is why it's so important to be the official owner of your shit so that you don't have to split the pie with these, guys, you know? Um, let me see, uh, okay, we, okay, <laughs> we got somebody in the chat. Oh, we got O'Shea in the chat. What's going on, man? Shout out to Shaka Nulu in the building. I do appreciate you for coming through as well. But anyway, let's look at what these tech companies are doing with these algorithms. Factors we can't even see. She called it algorithmic wage discrimination. And this technology or revolution isn't restricted. How does she keep pausing? The hell, man. Let's go. They don't, they don't want me to play this stream. I want lemonade. Technology's in there. They can raise prices on a hot summer day. You know, I want a lot of ice cream. I want lemonade. Eh, they're running low. They can raise the price. The price of milk, even your paycheck, the very fabric of our economy, all controlled by invisible and unaccountable algorithms. So about yes, yes, algorithms been controlling everything, and this is why I hate being a slave to the algorithm, man. That's why I never go full time, go hard on YouTube. That's why with these companies, you got to understand, they incentivize you to keep going, to keep slaving, to keep doing more for them, and they can pay you crumbs. And that's cool. The game is the game. See, I'm not one of those people who are like, oh, communism, we got to stop the companies. No, no, no. They're always going to find people dumb enough to be their slaves. And so how I look at it is I have to have my own. I'm not going to be slaving away for nobody's algorithm when I can just operate as a king. About a year ago, I started reaching out to the companies. They largely denied it, only to contradict themselves a few months later. Then I reached out to the academics, and one of the frustrating things was that the evidence seemed to be in the shadows. A single study. I'm not going to watch the whole video, but I'm just showing this because it was interesting because this video came after I posted the video about starting your own ride share company. Then I seen this video. I was like, what a coincidence, you know? And so they are, so they, I guess they put seven Uber drivers in the room. We'll fast forward to that part, see what happens. On the board of both of these companies, it tells you that we have nobody on our side, right? When the general counsel of- I don't want to see, I want to see them do the actual experiment. I don't want to. You know, if they actually do it. See, I told you, I know I don't watch the videos before we do them, but um, they, it was something on here. With, there it is. There it is. And the rate disparity. Okay, so they got so they got the all the phones next to each other. This is why it's so important to not let these businesses take advantage of you. This is just a, a microcosm. This applies to W2 as well. Our experiments and the rate disparities were blamed on location differences. When the experiments are done, the drivers will send their screen recording to Sergio's team, who will then sync and analyze the fares. And then we're gonna see what's really going on. Oh, they all look the same. They look kind of similar. 928, 952, nine, oh, well, not actually, nah, nah, nah. I mean, it's like, it's like a 20 cent difference. I mean, uh, but even then, why are these companies, right? Why are they having different prices for different drivers? Is it based on race? Uh oh. Oh, is it what's it based on? These different, see, it should actually, you know, to it should be the same price for these rides. It, it looks like it's all the same ride. Why is it different? Why is it different rates for different drivers? What is it based on? Is it based on the location? Is it based on race? Is it based on your where you live? See this shit like this. Why so you can't leave your you cannot leave your destiny in these niggas' hands. Okay? Look how they play around. Now I know it's only 20 cent, 15 cent, but if somebody at your job is doing the same shit you're doing and they make them even a dollar more than you, you need to be like, what the fuck? So this is why you know it's so important to just operate in today's world as a king, as a boss, to the best of your ability. Because at some point in time, you do have to work under people, and that's fine. 
But the thing is, you can see how these companies play. Play a little bit more than we'll keep it pushing. <laughs> Damn, look at it, 569, 590 for the same ride. So, the, I mean, the differences are small, but all in all, man, it's just another reason why you cannot let these corporate oligarchs, these tech companies, which are ruthless, uh, you cannot let them run your life. You have to use the tech. Don't let the tech use you, okay? You have to take the reins and control this tech and make it a tool for you and do not become a slave to this tech, man. Tech, technology is a wonderful, beautiful thing, but you cannot become a slave to this. Sh all right. You just can't. You have to use it for you. All right. So with that being said, we're going to keep it pushing because we got a lot to get to.